So, just a little update on the single 18650 cell mobile power bank. I'm charging it from the other mobile power bank, which I know is a bit daft, but um, I wanted to watch the current, which is at 0.34 amps. And it started a fair bit higher than that, and it's been dropping constantly, which is what you'd expect. That's the profile of... Uh, constant voltage phase of charging. So I'm kind of hoping that at the end of this charge cycle, the uh, red light on the single cell power bank will go off because it really should have some sort of indication that the charge has completed. So I'll wait for that. But in the meantime, look at this. It's a little torch head. It's um, got a LED in there, and it's got a USB uh, plug, and there's a little on-off switch there as well. Click it once for on, click it once for off. And it fits perfectly on the uh, single cell power bank. Switch on the torch. Yeah. Switch it off. It's the perfect mobile power bank accessory. Um, now this is where it came from. It, um, <laughs> they say it's a 2 watt LED. No, it's not. And um, the reason I got the pink one is because the Roseo is 99p. All of the others... Oh, perhaps they are all 99p. That wasn't the case before. Ah, orange is 109. What about black? 109. So some of them are 99p, the white one. I happen to get Roseo, whatever that is. Uh, 99p, it's from Masterpiece FR. And those are the colours of torch heads you can get. So we're now down to uh, 0.28 or 0.27 amps, 280 milliamps. And the red LED is still on. But look at this. Input, DC 5 volts, 800 milliamps. Now if it stops charging at a tenth of that, that would be about 80 milliamps. So I'm going to keep an eye on this and see if it stops charging. See if there's an indication that it stops charging around that point. Let's find out. So that's quite interesting. It got down to about 50 or 60 milliamps and then it just stopped. So the red light has gone out on the power bank and the current on the charger doctor has dropped to zero amps. So it does indicate termination of charge by turning out the red light and the charge does actually go to zero which is what's required for a lithium cell. And uh, just one final observation. Oh, incidentally, I had to uh, swap the white power bank for the black one because the white one ran out of juice. Um, final observation, these stickers on the ends are probably aluminium. They're probably adhesive backed metal and that means that actually this whole thing is uh, encased in metal and although I wouldn't say that that makes it safe, what I would say is that I'd rather have a fully metal cased uh, lithium battery power bank than uh, something made of plastic, you know, just in case.